Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Okay, so we're here in Great Bay. We finished up a few side things, but we are nowhere near done with all of the side things that I'm planning on doing. So we're going to continue that right now. Um, where we're going to head is back over here with Zora Link and over towards the shore. So let's make our way up there. Oh, like that. That'll work. And where we're going is back over here. No, we're not paying another visit to the seahorse guy. I, I told him I never want to see him again, and that's completely true. I don't want to. So we're going to stay away from there, but we're going to head into this building over here, which we haven't checked out yet. And I think I've mentioned this before, but this is the Oceanside Spider House. It starts out a little bit differently than the first one does, and overall this does have actually quite a... Uh, a rather different feel than the uh, Swamp Spider House does. It's kind of more of like a, uh, it's almost like a haunted mansion type thing, you know? So, it's pretty cool. But, uh, obviously we're gonna need to take off the Zora Mask here, and since we don't have bombs, looks like the Blast Mask is gonna have to do our work for us. Now, with this one, you're gonna have to have the hook shot in order to, uh, be able to grab all the sculptures here, and actually really even be able to get in, as you'll soon see. Uh, first we got a couple of them crawling around this ramp here, so we can grab these with the hook shot. So there's number one and two. Now we can have some fun and slide down. Woo, looks fun. And yeah, this is pretty much what I was talking about. As you can see, it's pretty much guarded by these impenetrable fences here. So in order to get through, you're going to need the hook shot. It is a requirement. Um, not so much for the first one, but definitely this one. So we got to get over using the target there. And then if we uh, turn around here, get out our fire arrows, which of course I have none. So I think they do actually give you a refill. Um, in here. I'm pretty sure some of the pots on either side do, so I guess I should have came a little bit more prepared, but oh well, whatever. Um, well, there's magic and rupees. Magic, I guess, is kind of nice. Uh, arrows should be in here. Yeah, there they are. All right. So we have 20 arrows. We're actually going to be using fire arrows quite a bit in here. Um, am I really too close? Phew, there we go. All right, I didn't want to have to move. Uh, but anyway, we can turn around and look up with our fire arrows. You can see there are some cobwebs up here. And uh, there's a skull chiller right there that we're going to have to burn this away in order to get to. So then get out the hook shot and grab it. And that marks number three. Oh, nope. See, there's another thing I was talking about. The camera doesn't always get right behind you when you want it to. It's kind of annoying, actually, but... Um, okay, so here we are in kind of the first main room here. This is sort of the central hub to a lot of the other rooms. You can already see one of the sculptures here. I think there are a total of nine in this room. So by the time we get done with it, we should uh, we should have 12 in here. So the first one is going to be up here on this wooden beam that you can see going back and forth. So just grab it. It's kind of a weird shot, but you can get it. And then uh, I guess we can go ahead and grab this one back here. There we go. Okay, now as we go over to this corner, there are going to be some pots in the corner. This one has a cobweb on it that we want to burn away. Um, there are two in here. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, it's in the first one, it looks like. So we get that one, and then it's also in the very back one. There it is. Sometimes it takes a couple rolls. And there is that one. Okay, now as we head down, we're going to see a rather uh, clever sculpture. As we go about halfway down the stairs, you can see this one kind of crawling in between this gap between the two. I think that's pretty cool, but um, this one can be a little bit of a pain to get. If he's moving back and forth, you kind of have to lead him a little bit. There it goes. And then grab that token. Okay, and now as we head down, we got some more pots in the corner there we don't need to worry about. There's a tall pot here by this torch if we roll into it. Another Skulltula will come out. I told you there's a lot in here. Alright, so I took a hit there, which is fine. So uh, now that we've got that, we can climb up this little uh, stack here. It doesn't really look like you can, but if you get in just the right spot... There we go. And kill that thing before trying to come up, because if you try to climb up otherwise, he'll just knock you back, and that's not good. Now, um, let's see. I think there's also, yeah, there's one right here. You can see there's kind of this diamond-shaped hole, and you can actually sort of see the skull back there. So we got to burn away the cobweb, and of course it burned the other one that I wasn't shooting at. Okay, there we go. Then grab this guy with your hook shot. There's number 11, and of course the final one is just right over here, crawling uh, out of this little shield on the wall. So you get that one, and that's number 12, which is all nine in this main room. So we're already almost halfway done, and we've pretty much just started this place, but uh, we're going to head back up the stairs and start tackling the other doors now. Uh, if we head to the right from the door we came through to begin with, there's a door here covered by cobwebs. You can burn it. 
and head inside, and now we are going to enter sort of the library. There's quite a few in here. This is kind of an interesting little place. Uh, first off, we want to head to the right and check out these tiny dressers here. Um, it's kind of annoying, but you can get on either side and grab this one to pull it to the side. Then grab this one and pull it to the side. Finally, grab the middle one and push it. And then you can see this diamond-shaped hole right there. And, of course, our next Skulltula is inside. Right there. All right, so uh, then also there are some pictures of the Skull Kid that you can see up here on the wall. It's kind of hard to make out because that one's kind of dark, but if you hit it with your hookshot, it'll fall down. There's a Skulltula behind this one. There isn't a Skulltula behind all of them because there are quite a few paintings, but that one there just so happens to be. Now, if we go up here, we can see this bookshelf has a, a little section where a lot of the books are missing, so we can climb up. And once we do so... Whoa, look at that! It's a stall child. Awesome. So yeah, he doesn't really seem to do much to you. Let's see what Tattle has to say, actually. Um, it's a stall child. They were the cursed soldiers of the Kingdom of Ikana. What are you gonna do? Yeah, well, let's uh, get out our masks that we got a while back, the captain's hat. And of course, I did not want to overwrite the uh, hookshot. So let's see. Put that here and then there. There we go. Alright, so we can speak to them with the captain's hat. He'll jump off and then start talking. Ah, Captain, sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, sir, we're investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems blue should be shot first. And basically, we're going to encounter a few of these guys along the way here. They're going to give us some clues to a little secret we can get here. So just for now, remember that blue can be shot first. Yes, you fulfilled your duties and done a good job. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope the information I provided will be of assistance to you, sir. Now, as you ordered, sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, sir! And then he kills himself. Okay, but, um, yeah, so for now, just remember that, um, the blue one needs to be shot first. You'll see what it's talking about in a little bit. Um, so then if we turn back over here, I guess we could take off the captain's act, because it looks kind of silly, but oh well. Um, you can see there's another sculpture crawling around here, so we can grab that. That's number 15. Now, as we look back over this way, you can see there's a sculpture in that bookshelf in the corner. You can get it from here if you want with the hook shot. Just like that. And now we're going to need to make our way over there, so carefully hop along the bookcases, because uh, you don't want to fall off and have to do this all over again. There we go. Now, I think in... Um, actually, I think it's this one over here. Yeah, I can see there's a diamond-shaped hole behind it. So we're going to have to knock that down and then make our way over here. Whoa, the camera kind of played with me a little bit there. And the next Skulltula is back in here. There we go, and that marks number 17. Now you can see there's another stall child sitting around here, just kind of having fun, I guess. I don't really know what he's doing, but he'll jump up and talk to us from inside of the table. Or, I guess not, but... Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you, secrets of this place, blah blah blah. Um, according to the information he's obtained, red should be shot sixth. Okay, so blue is first and red is sixth. And yes, you fulfilled your duties, now uh, rest in peace or whatever. Okay, so now we can uh, check out this bookcase over here by the wall. We can actually grab it and push it to the side. And that will let us get the last two Skulltulas in this room. Let's get this one. And that one. And that marks 19, so now we've only got 11 left to go. Okay, so we're done in here, and you can always double-check by seeing if you can hear any Skulltulas crawling around. Obviously, there are none, because we picked them all up, but that's a good way to check if you don't already know where all of them are. Okay, so now that we're done with that room, we're pretty much going to uh, take on the next in the series here. We're going to head down the stairs. And very slowly down the stairs, I might add. He doesn't walk very fast at all. Um, the first door that we come to here is the one we're going to check out next. And this is where we're actually going to get to see the uh, secret they were talking about. You can see there are four of the stall children. These are actually the last four we need to find. And uh, these different colored shields on the wall. So you can probably already guess what we're going to be doing. Uh, but we can go ahead and just talk to him on with the captain's hat. So, yeah, they have to go through this whole... Oh, well, no, not yet. Tell it again. Yeah, if you say no, they will tell you again, so if you accidentally skip through it, then uh, you can just talk to them. Alright, and red should be shot second. Alright, so we have blue, red, and then red sixth. So, yep, you're good this time. Now let's talk to this guy. Alright, what'd you find? Red should be shot fourth. Okay, so it looks like two, four, and six are red. That should be pretty easy to remember. And what about you? And you have that green should be shot third, okay? So we have blue, red, green, red, something, and then red. 
So he goes away, and this one should tell us the last one, because there are, of course, only six. And he says that yellow should be shot fifth, so we have blue, red, green, red, yellow, red. Oh, that's pretty easy to remember, isn't it? Alright, so he fulfills the last of his duties, and now we have the full code, so to speak. Uh, we're going to switch over from the fire arrows to the regular ones, of course. You don't want to waste magic and all that. So the order we need to shoot these in is blue, red... Yeah, uh, no, it wasn't yellow. <laughs> I just said it was easy to remember. Okay, blue, red, green, red, yellow, red. There we go. And that will open up the fireplace there and let you get back in there to access a little bit of a secret. But before we do that, there are quite a few Skulltulas around here they are going to pick up. Don't need the Captain's Hat anymore since we've uh, found all of them. Uh, we can actually turn into a Goron, and if you look up from here, you can see there are some Skulltulas on this chandelier. Three, in fact. So what you want to do is stand on the table and just pound it, and it will cause all three of them to fall down. And now we can, of course, go and collect them. Come on, get it. There you go. Right, so there is 21. Now 22 is right here, of course. Okay, and then if we get back on the table and look up over the door, you can see there's another one of those little gaps there with another Skullshield crawling through it, so let's grab him. That's number 23. Now, uh, behind one of these pictures is one. I think it's this one, but I could be wrong. Oh, sweet, I was right. Awesome. So let's grab this, and that is number 24. Then um, there are some pots over here to the left. I think the tall one has a Skulltula, and it does. So grab him. If you would kill him. There he goes. And that's number 25. Okay, so that's all the Skulltulas in this room. Now we can uh, check out what's on past the fireplace here. Turns out we can head up these stairs. There is, of course, a big Skulltula, but arrows work well, so <laughs> you don't need to worry about it. Then we can open up the chest. And get a piece of heart. Awesome. Okay, so now that we've gotten that, we can uh, head back out because we're done with this little uh, section here. So we're going to go back out to the main hub one more time. All these uh, stall children will respawn here, so if you want, you can be fancy if you have the extended range and just kill them all with the spin attack. Sometimes they'll drop things, but, you know, it's not really worth it either way. So let's just head back out through the door and now uh, get ready to take on the final area. There are, of course, only five left, so, you know, it can't be a big one or anything. Uh, so we're going to need to get fire arrows. Of course, if you do run out of arrows and don't feel like getting more, or if you run out of magic, you can use Deku sticks. But, you know, that's assuming you have them as well. So um, let's go ahead and burn that cobweb and then head through to the final area. All right, so now we've got a big sculpture up there we can take care of um, with, okay, fire arrows work, I guess. There's also a black bow around here, so let's go ahead and kill him. You know, he's no threat whatsoever. Um, now, first we're going to head over to this side. We can roll into the crate here. There's an opening that we can make our way through. Just some pots in here, but if you turn around, you can see the gold sculpture is up on the wall. So there's number 26. Now we head back out, and there's another crate on this side. Roll into it, and the sculpture will pop out. And there is number 27. Now, if we look up from here, there are some uh, support beams here. There's some webbing over them. If we shoot them with the fire arrow, you can see there's a sculpture underneath. So we grab that. We're just about done. There's number 28. Then if we climb up onto here, you can already see it behind the little coffin lid there. Now we can kill it and take the token. Number 29. And now, finally, we can climb up the boxes in the corner here. And look up. Okay, no, you have to climb up on the other side. All right, I knew it was one or the other. Um, you can climb up right here. Actually, it's kind of cleverly hidden, but you can. Then we climb up through here, and now if we look up on this wall, there's that hookshot target I was looking for. We can make our way up here to the ceiling. There are a bunch of pots. We can break them. And inside of one is Skulltula number 30. Awesome. So now we're done with the Oceanside Spider House. Like I said, it does kind of have a uh, very different feel, actually, from the Swampside one. It's much more of an uh, an ancient house type thing, you know. I guess haunted house maybe wouldn't be the case, but I don't know. I guess if it was infested with giant golden spiders, it, you might consider it haunted, too. But now that we've gotten them all, let's head back out. We didn't see one of those cursed spider guys at the beginning, but you'll see where we're going to get our reward from. Uh, we're going to have to make our way back through here again. And to get back up the ramp, we can use Goron Link. There we go. And you can see when we come back that uh, one of the guys has sort of popped up here. And he will say, I thought I heard some loud noises inside, and I came in to check it out. 
This place, is this some sort of underground shelter? Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. I hope this will do. And we get the giant wallet as a reward. This thing is huge. It can hold up to 500 rupees. I'm just glad it was something you needed. Anyhow, I won't be needing it much longer anyway. Um, okay. Uh, I, I don't know if you're planning to get rich off this place or what, but it's probably not going to happen, buddy. Okay, so now that we finished up the Oceanside Spider House and got the uh, giant wallet, that's it for the Spider Houses. There are no more. That's only the two. So we've completed both of them, and that one went pretty well. It's really not that hard. Um, honestly, I, I would say I do definitely like the Oceanside Spider House better. Um, I think it's also a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about, you know, getting things in bottles and, like, using the spring water and all that stuff that we did. So, um, honestly, I do like that one a lot better. But um, either way, they're both done now. We've got our rewards, so we're good to go. But I think this looks like a pretty good place to uh, stop off for now. So next time we will continue doing some things around Great Bay. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.